technologies. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do right now is I'm just going to show you how important ACNET is to how you're going to run your business coming forward. Okay. Take a look at the MP4. Okay? Now, why do you want to go with 
that tech, or rather, why have I been working in them for the past uh, 12 years? I was, my company was incepted in September, like, uh, September 2002, and until now I've been working with them solely and only. Right? I've never bought any other server hardware from any other vendors apart from that tech. Why? They are really strong. They've got good technical support people, they've got the capability to help you to improve your margins and your bottom line. They can help you to tie in solutions. They can help you to plan. Don't you think you guys would want to work with people like them? Rather than just a normal distributor who tells you, okay, I've got box A, today I want 100 boxes, you go and push box A. What difference do you make? Being a box pusher. As SME, we have to stand up. As SME, we have to differentiate ourselves. Can we? Most distributors will expect you to do what they want you to sell. <coughs> Not ACNET. Okay? <coughs> and also remember, ACNET <coughs> is a preferred distributor. They do not, I repeat, they do not go to customers directly. Some distributors will go to customers directly. Likewise for Y-Chain, they are the most honest distributor I've ever seen. Seriously. And that's what all SME wants. Honesty, integrity, and opportunities. Okay? Now, how does Hackman Distributes. Okay, this is the way that they package their solution such that it simplifies your supply chain in terms of manageability and also simplify the point of contact. Okay. Now, Acnet. Uh, can we have the Acnet TV? Okay, I've got Isaac behind. Uh, he's the eyes, right? Correct. Uh, as in the inside <coughs> channels executive. Then I've got Lee, uh, right? She's uh, from the marketing side. Okay. Now, Fnet generally is made up from your account managers all the way to the channels. Now, when you guys join Fnet as resellers, as solutions partner, you get that this year here. So, looking at it. Don't you think that you're actually well stacked with expertise beyond your imagination? Now imagine you don't have a marketing arm. Acnet would have its own lead generation activities that are capable of helping you if you can help them to tell you to tell them exactly what you need and what you want to come to market with. They can help you. Right? So now I'm actually offering an opportunity to work directly with them, not necessarily through me. I am just like you guys, I am a solutions partner, right? And why I brought them here is because I want to share the joy of working with them, with you. Right, they've been fantastic, right? Now, let me explain to you why they were fantastic. I first approached uh, Isaac about a month back regarding his seminar. Now, uh, as you know, on SMD, holding a seminar can be quite painful. I do not know what certain number will be like. I do not know whether, you know, I have 70 people, I do not know whether I have five here today or not. I went to Isaac, I told him, okay, I have a seminar for SMEs. And I think I can sell CNET solutions, Singtel solutions, and I think I can sell it in servers. Because SME requires hardware, requires servers, even requires computers. And he said, okay, ha, come, let me plan out something for you. He went to his product managers, he went to his pre-sales and marketing. In three days, he came back to me with the brochures. In 24 hours, he came back to me with some of the free gifts that you'll be seeing later. This is from FNAC. Now imagine you're an SME, like me. How difficult it is for us to have that kind of lead generation and the kind of activities, marketing activities, <coughs> to reach and to achieve this stage. I am what I am here today. I've done what I have done here today, not because of just my team of people behind, but because of partners like Fnet, YChain, and YP. Right? Now, 
don't you think that that's a wonderful thing? I can piece together capabilities from everybody. And then, <coughs> after piecing them together, I get something different. <coughs> Maybe to some of you, this may be just one of the seminars that you've attended. Now, deep in my heart, me and my team is trying to make this seminar slightly a little bit different. That's why you notice that I've got a lot of motion graphics. I've got a, a lot, lots of clips. You know, um, I try to be different. You know, um, even that switch off hand mode thing, um, how many of you think that is funny? How many of you actually don't like it? Scary? <laughs> Uh, I have Liu Tehua eh. Liu Tehua. Actually, his name is really Liu Tehua. He's trying to say, I'm not kidding you. <coughs> okay? Uh, he's my sales people. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to show you guys how important creating a unique identifier is in your business. How you can make use of branding and technology to help people see your business in different perspectives, different lights. It is because only if you brand, people are aware of you. Only if you brand, people identify with you. Just like, you know, when you tell a small kid, what does M stands for? McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> to us, it's money. <laughs> <laughs> then, what does A stands for? Huh? Apple. 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 That's like Apple to me. It's not something I know. That's what we identify with. Right? Am I right, guys? So, can I ask all of you a serious question? What is your identifier in your SME business? Have you thought about how you can differentiate yourself? Have you thought about how you can be unique to others? Even though you are in the same business, everybody has a certain forte, a certain advantage, <coughs> and a certain skill set. Correct? Now, I've got with me um, my good friends from Minor Training, uh, Ben. And the wife, right? They are property agents. Uh, if you guys want to buy or sell a flat, they are the people to look for, right? They are just sitting right in front of them. They do training as well. So, any aspiring property agents, they do training. <laughs> Alright? Now, that's how you can try to brand yourself. Such that when I talk about training in property, I look at them. I don't look at anybody else. Right? When I talk about conferencing utility, I look at Mr. Rogan quite behind. Now, far most, when I see computers, I see printers, I see switches, the only person I think about is Isaac. That's how unique it must be. When you dream, you must dream of Isaac. When you look at computers, that's what we're looking at. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you two branding videos. The first video will be my own company's branding video. Take a look. Soon. 
Uh, you guys know what they are doing? What business are they doing? You see handphones, you see shirts, you see quite a fair bit of artistic things. Right. You notice that their colors are bright. Very, very specific, very, very luminous. Extremely artistic, you ask me. Now, this was only achievable because I've got great partners and I've got great teams behind me to help me to put this together. <coughs> but you may also ask me, how much is this going to cost? Now, to uh, enterprise, of course, definitely there's an enterprise pricing. Now, if you are an SME, now of course there's an SME pricing. Things can be discussed, things can be laid out properly. You can make a difference to your business. You can showcase to the world how different you are. Only achievable through technology and proper branding, and of course, cut from the rest. Right? Coming up, I'm going to go a little bit more into branding before I invite my guest partner, Ms. Elaine. Now, just something you guys saw, click clock. Click clock, click clock. Horseshoe. Sakya. Juju. Okay, whatever you call it. That's how different they are. Why are they called? Click clock, they go on. They will go through with you guys. Okay? I'm just roughly highlighting this, and then you will see how important branding is to you. Elaine, can I have you up on stage? Hi everyone, I'm Elaine from ClickClock. So thanks Roland for introducing us. So basically I'll do an introduction about my company. Firstly, why are we called ClickClock? Anybody want to have a try? No, it's because ClickClock actually comes from a Hokkien translation, Kiki Koko, which means we are a company with a handful of items for you to personalize your corporate gifts and also your personal, personalized gift. So who are we? We actually are a personalized uh, gift printing company and we do gifts not only about the quantity but about the quality of it. So we actually have acquired the state-of-the-art technology that allow you to direct print on any medias, wood, tiles, ceramics, that some of you have already taken a look at just now. So how different are we? Um, we are the same as every other game printers, but the difference is we are made up of a team of game lovers. So we understood um, the difficulties of buying the meaningful and unique gift from the market. So we try to source for gifts that are different from other people. So with the help of Roland's uh, company, we actually have our website. So how does the website actually work? You just um, go to our website. You can do the personalization on the website itself. So you just submit your orders and you can actually uh, upload your photos, your clip art, font types, and you can have any design you want on any items that you want on the website. Put it into the shopping cart and we will be preparing your order for the mail out. So we also want to create a different kind of experience at ClickClock. That is, um, not only do you have to buy our products, you can bring your own things to print. So we will charge at a minimal cost. So don't worry about even if the item is uh, just one piece, because we don't focus on the quantity like other gift printers who talk about 100 pieces, 500 pieces. Even one piece we will also do. So I come to the end of my presentation. I hope you have understand more about TikTok and look at the keys at a different kind of perspective. Thank you. Uh, five stones. Actually, it's called five stones. Uh, this is a special themed cafe. The whole idea of the cafe is to create a relaxed environment where you can sit around, reminisce about your childhood. You can even have five stones on the table playing with the five stones for your order. Everything about the cafe revolves around five stones. That was where we got our name uh, back from. Okay, our sources, our inspiration. Now, 
Who does Five Stone Markets do? As I said, they are King Cafe. Once you understand that they are King Cafe, you understood that they cater for a fusion type of food. Then you understand the kind of consumers they approach and they would love to have. People who just want to sit down, just want to relax, just want to have a good simple food. Right? That's what the cafe aims to do. Now, why is branding important? Like I just told you, you must be able to identify your business to your people, to your customers in particular, to your partners in particular. If you can't, how do they know what you are selling? How do they know when they have needs, who do they turn to? Just like I was telling you guys, when I think about property, I think about my friend here. I think about training, I think about you. That's how you must seek to identify yourself. You must be able to tell people what you sell, where you sell, and how you sell. Why is this important? So that it demystifies the process of doing business with you. It demystifies the process of how you work <coughs> and how different you are from your partners. Agree? Now, let's look at McDonald's and Burger King. Uh, can I ask you guys a question? Look at McDonald's. When you tell your kids burgers, do you think they will go to Burger King or do you think that they will go to McDonald's? Why not Burger King? Because Burger Kings are all for old folks. <laughs> Sorry, I go Burger King myself. Now, let's look at the brand, OG. Anybody knows what does OG stands for? Ocean Government. Huh? Ocean Government. Oriental Government. To my wife, they call it Otters. <laughs> Why? They sell matured clothing. So. But nowadays, they are turning, they are turning their style into more trendy upfront outlook. You notice that they are trying to brand themselves because they were branded in the past. Correct? So, when you look at branding, do you ask yourself a question? Do you ask yourself a question? How do your customers look at you? When you sell conferencing utility, you will always say that, oh yeah, YK is MIT made in Taiwan. Eh, only con made in USA. Who says it? MIC made in China. Some made in Thailand. But what makes Polycom so well made, so well known? It's because of the way it ran. But when I put in a differentiator, and you tell your customers, by using white chain technology, you can make use of the existing internet infrastructure and lower your operational cost in terms of teleconferencing and telecommunications. Then people will ask you, how do you achieve it? And why Polycom Khan? Then you have achieved a brand. Because you tell people, I can offer you something next to nothing. I can offer you something next to the best. I can offer you something that you can never dream of. You use Skype. When you're overseas, you pick up the phone, you FaceTime, you WeChat, you line chat. Ask yourself a question. Are those secure? Yes, no. There's a lot of WeChat people, account users who has been hacked, asking people to buy items, <coughs> gift cards, right? Now, let's look at YChain. Can that happen to you? No. Why? Because we have an encryption built in. Yeah, we have encryption built in with technology in premise. That's the differentiator. So do you feel more comfortable talking over it? Or do you want the big boys to be eavesdropping over your composition? Those of you who happily tell me that, don't worry, uh, nothing is of importance. I can tell you, let's try it. You pick up the phone, you say that I've got a phone. You try that, you see whether the police are on the door within 8 hours now. You know that your phone calls are all checked. Very some right? So, with that, do you think YChain can solve your problem? Okay? And right? That's the branding aspect that they have to look for. Now, like I said, how can I identify myself? 
and I, this person, I think I can study better. I'm betting on this. Okay. This one will be my dearest son, you ready? No. Why do people need us as SMEs? Can you answer yourself a question? Apart from selling a service and a product, what other use are you to your customers? Your customers must die, die, die from you, is it? What's it? No, right? That's the pain. That's the pain we're talking about. Do they need to buy from us? No. How do we get them to come to us? How do we get them to say that we are good? How do you differentiate your products, your services? Okay. You have to identify. You have to come up with something. Ask all of yourself a question. Those of you who have started your business for more than five years, ask yourself a key question. Do you know what you are doing business for? Do you know what you are selling? Do you know whether your business can survive the next two months? If you have never asked yourself a question, that's the thing. Are you being overly confident, thinking that your existing customer base will support you through the day that you retire? Or are you just being complacent, resting in your laurels, resting and thinking that yeah, by the time I die, I think my business is still running? Are you? You must be able to differentiate who you sell to. Whether you're selling locally, you're selling internationally. Why is there a need to understand? When you sell local and you sell international, there's many ways of doing it. How many of you actually use advertising as in like print, brochures, templates, or you, even for that matter, product seminars? Can I have a short list? Uh, anybody else? All of you, how do you advertise? Sorry, Mr. How do you normally? Uh, job bank. So how do you reach out to new members? Okay. Okay, now, do you see a need to brand yourself? Yes, Now, let me ask you a question. When you look at branding, are you looking at it as locally or internationally or both? Why not internationally? Right? Then, then, can I ask the rest of you, 
have you actually seriously thought about your business plan? <coughs> or you're just living day by day from hands to mouth and hoping that you can fight for another project? Are you guys going to work until you're 65 like the government suggested? And that's the reason why you set up companies so that you burden yourself, you can't go on holidays, you can't sleep without the phone ringing, you can't go on MC without needing to tell your partners off. You need to grab. You need to be able to build your business. You need to be able to identify. You need to know your sales sector so that you can improve the bottom line, so that you can improve your productivity. So, next thing, how are you operating your business? Most of us, we have a shop run. Now, when you guys are at the event here, who is at the shop? Who's handling your sales? Or when you're sleeping, who's handling the sales for you? Your shop closed, so do you. Agree? Now, in the digital world, the internet has no time limits. The internet has no boundaries. It runs 24 by 7. That's what an online shop does. <coughs> right? It has an inbuilt full process of deliveries, supply chain, payment gateways, and everything built into it. You can even form a distribution channel from there. Now, those of you that use Carousel, I'm sure you know that you can actually sometimes set up something for pre order when you get certain amount of pre order, then you order the goods. The internet shop front can assist you to do that. Just that. Are you targeting your business correctly? That's what I'm trying to ask you. Or are you just basically running a business the way you want to run? Correct? Now, um, for your case, you have cleaning services. Another avenue to look at probably is that with that, you can actually have an online training uh, learning management systems, which is online. Yeah. Correct, training portals and all these things. So those are things that you, know, you really want to look at. Now, how does that help you in your branding? Because you tell people, I have a differentiator. I can afford these technologies and these processes. I can afford these type of solutions. <clears throat> so when people think about that, people will identify you. If they can't identify you, you look for the Euro pages. And then you have to make sure that your company name is starting with alphabet A. Because usually you will appear on top. Okay? Talking about where does all this lead us? Uh, it's painful, as I said. It may require you to be look at the way you're running on this. The way that you think you're running the business correctly the way that you see your business. Why? Have you identified your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities and your threats? Yeah. These are all very management lessons. Have you? Or you just went into business thinking that you are the business? I think I started in that manner. I thought I was the business and I realized I was wrong. Okay? And I needed to change fundamental change in myself and the way I do things. That's why this seminar is slightly a little bit different. You've got motion graphics, you know, you've got um, off the cuff talking. Actually, to be frank, I did all these slides when I was on a flight to Kukuo Car. I did all these slides in one and a half hours. And when I came to the seminar today, I actually couldn't remember what I wrote. I really couldn't remember. Uh, thanks to technology, I sent these slides off to my colleagues in Singapore, uh, and then they did up the rest. Technology help me, even though I was on holiday. Uh, poor guys, because I can hang out with them anytime, I can send reminders to them anytime. When my phone beeps, their phone beeps. So if my phone beeps, they don't answer, that means they're not working. That's technology. And you know what, my friend? To my customers, I never fail. Seriously. Um, I had customers who told me that, once told me that this server was pronounced officially dead by Microsoft. Microsoft, they said that there's no way this server can be brought up. 
I told my customer, my friend then, I will just walk in, I'll try my best. I did it in three hours. I brought the supposedly dead server back to life. And that's where my friend lies. But I promise you something, I deliver it. And if I can, I'll deliver it beyond. That's the kind of branding you have to achieve towards your customer. How do you do it? You must use technology. Then, talking about technology, all of us are SME. How are we going to find the money? Seriously, where is our budget? Our e-branding, search engine optimization. How do you appear on Google, Yahoo, Bing's first, second pages? Did it occur to you that your business may have been searched 2,000 times over on search engine? And how come people didn't click your website though you have a website? Do you know whether your website is working the way it's supposed to be working? No? High time to review your partners. <laughs> okay? Uh, my job here is not to sell you anything, but to remind you that a tool, a utility, can be a double-edged sword. Use it wisely, things work out. Don't use it wisely, it becomes a white elephant. That's all. It also requires you to be conscientiously looking at business, thinking of ways to grow your businesses in general. How am I going to grow it? When am I going to grow it? And, very important, you must look for your successor. Sorry. Right? You must look for your successor. You must have a succession threat because you expect your business to be running. And I'm sure that by 55, 60 years old, you don't want to be running the company the way you're running it when you're 30 years old. There's no way. You don't have the energy. That's why you've got partners around here. People from a myriad of activities and industrial and categories. People to help you. People on your left, people on your right, in front, behind, they're all your friends. Not enemies. Okay? I shall leave this question and answer much to later on. Okay, now, uh, what I wanted to highlight to you guys is no amount of persuasion that I'm talking now can make you change your thoughts about running your business. No amount of words that I say right now can dissuade you from not doing anything. The reason why you guys bother to come on a free holiday if at 8 plus, 9 plus, or even 10 plus for that matter, <coughs> to turn up right here is an honor to me. An honor because you honor yourself. You are SME businesses. You take pride in what you do. You came to listen. I'm not too sure whether I've delivered what I need to deliver to you all. Because if I really did not completely deliver, pardon me, give me some time after lunch, or the day after, or the week after, to have a follow-up with you. Not to sell you anything, but to examine the way that we are doing things. <coughs> because that's where consultancy comes from. Being a consultant means understanding what each other is doing. Being a consultant means being able to put yourself in the person's shoes. Right? Being a presenter means I talk for the next 20 minutes and you guys will have to forget about everything. Right? That's the reason why later on in your booty bag, can you keep open up your booty bag? Uh, what do you guys find inside? A packet of coffee or hot chocolate? You know why is that? Because maybe we don't have lunch later. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, the, the, the coffee was actually complimentary. Uh, there's some other things inside that. There's actually something like the, like the wallet. Sorry? Yeah, you can hold it. Come, can you guys open up? If you have not, can you open up?
I, I'm sure you can, you guys can tell you can buy from anywhere. But when they, when you guys see this, maybe weeks later, you remember that you actually got it from the China. And that's from my friend from. I reminded you that this came from me. But uh, I wasn't evil enough to bring my company logo on that, that piece of thing. Because I think you guys will try to rub it off. Right? I make it convenient. I make it memorable in my head. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Small gestures.